So I've had a few people reach out to me in New South Wales asking, Joel, who do I vote for in the local elections for New South Wales? Here you go, it's at tpaust.com.au. We've done every single ward in New South Wales, every single council, never been done in history by anyone, no political party for uh, local council elections. We've done it, we put it out there. Uh, if you head to tpaust.com.au, you can get a recommendation for the How to Vote card. When you go to that website, tpaust.com.au, you go in, you can see the first thing that comes up is an address lookup. You put your address in, we won't keep that, don't worry about that. And it'll basically tell you who we recommend or who people in our audience have recommended for that area. So for my electorate of Parramatta, I've got um, three, three people I've been told to vote for. And I'm literally going to do this right in front of you right now. This is my real ballot. So I'm going to be voting for... It's telling me to vote for, as you can see, Group D, Community Champions. They sound like some local independents there. I'm going to be voting number two for our local community, Michelle Gerard. I know she's very good. I've met her. And Group A, I'm going to vote as number three. And again, I'm using a pen for this. Now, once I've done that, basically, I can give that to the... Uh, hand that, fold it up, hand it, hand it to the people, uh, at the Electoral Commission at the voting, voting booth, and uh, go from there. Now I'm warning you with these local elections, these cards are not perfect because there are some areas where the Liberal Party and the minor parties didn't put anyone in and sometimes there's no independence. For example, in the Blue Mountains, there are three out of the wards, I do believe, you have to pick between Labour and the Greens. Who do you pick? So you're going to see some how to vote cards where we have Labour or the Greens and you're going to be like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, these are not cards that I've done, these are cards that we've had, we've reached out to our audience, there are people that we trust, and they said, look, with this landscape, this is what we're going for. Um, but on top of that, if you guys don't like the recommendation, you don't have to use it, you're welcome to alter it. There will be some cards where you will see that we haven't voted for Liberal over Labour. If you know the internal politics in the Liberal Party, there are some seats where there are good Liberals, like uh, the Gerard Rennicks of the world, and there are some seats where there are Malcolm Turnbulls, where you're better off with a Labour guy um, than, than the Liberal guy. That's what's baked into this. But again, if you're not happy with this, I've turned the comments off on these videos because I want you to email us. I've made a dedicated email just for this purpose. If you think we've missed something, uh, you can email us at elections at tpaust.com.au and uh, you can actually send us your recommendation, maybe how you would have voted in the area. We'll keep it totally private, and in fact, it'll help us understand better what's going on in the area if you think that there's stuff we've missed. It's impossible for us to harvest all the data on each area, each candidate. It's just impossible because there's 300 different council wards in New South Wales. There's no way we could do the research uh, for, for these areas, especially some of the rural ones. Um, so give this a share, guys. Get it out there. Give this to people that you think could use the help. Again, full credit to the Libertarian Party and many really good independents that have put their hand up and their fair income candidates that want councils to get back to roads, rates and rubbish. However, they weren't able to run in all seats. I think the Libertarians ran in uh, up to 20 seats out of 130. Um, unfortunately, they didn't run in all the seats. So if you see some weird recommendations from the, the Turning Point Australia cards, it's probably because we had really, really, really bad options. But if you think there's stuff where maybe we missed, let me know. Send me an email at elections at tpaust.com.au. I don't get anything from this. These are free how to vote cards. I'm just trying to make sure that we get councils that get back to basics, roads, rates and rubbish, and not focusing on Aboriginal stuff you know, and the LGBT stuff. I want councils that actually do their job and um, do it properly. So um, look, my free gift to you guys, if you're in Victoria, we are doing local election how to vote cards as well. So I will be reaching out to people down there to ask for their recommendations. But in Queensland as well for the state election, we will be doing how to vote cards for them as well. And we might be doing it for the ACT as well. Um, to, to give you advice on how to vote in the state election. The dates for the elections are Queensland's on the 26th of October for their state election. Um, and for Victoria, the state election is on the 26th of October as well, same as Queensland. Um, but New South Wales, we've got it this coming Saturday on the uh, 14th of September, uh, coming up very soon. Um, so look, uh, 
keep an eye out. You guys will see the video soon um, and take it easy. Ciao.